Any business involved in delivery services must have an appropriate business license, although licensed restaurants that deliver their own food are not required to have a separate license for deliveries. All drivers must be on a full license, and not just a learner's license, and must be properly insured with a declaration made to the insurance company that the vehicle will be used for commercial activity. Motorcycles must be subject to an insurance policy in respect of liability for the death or bodily injury to a person or damage to property caused by or arising out of the use of the vehicle on the road. The government points out that it is the responsibility of the business as the employer to ensure the correct policies are in place for drivers. In respect of road safety, drivers should adhere to speed limits and safety protocols and must respect all traffic laws, especially those on speeding and safety. The Ministry of Transport warns that under the principle of vicarious liability, an employer can be held responsible for the wrongful acts of an employee, as well as for the wrongful acts by those who are self-employed but are treated as an employee. It says takeaway delivery businesses must bear in mind that drivers working at the control and direction of the business will not be considered self-employed, but as employees of the provider. As for food hygiene, businesses and drivers must ensure they comply with local legislation to ensure all food is protected from risk of contamination. This means keeping raw and cooked food separate and the interior of vehicles and surfaces used for food must be kept clean. In addition, separate insulated carriers for hot and cold food should be used with hot food delivered at 63 degrees or above and cold food at 10 degrees or colder. To achieve this, distances should be kept to a 30-minute radius with the food checked periodically. Reacting Hungry Monkey director Matt Caldwell said, We are committed to delivering exemplary conduct across every aspect of our operations and have set the highest standards for the delivery sector in Gibraltar. Notably, our business model has always supported and endorsed contracted drivers, Gibraltar-registered company-owned vehicles and health and hygiene standards. The government says it will continue to monitor the huge and rapid growth in this sector to stop possible abuses and ensure a level playing field. Minister for Transport Paul Alban says during the pandemic numerous companies rose to the challenge in effectively servicing a community that was locked down. This circular, he adds, aims to lay down business requirements to provide this growing industry with details of their obligations in respect of employment, traffic and transport, health and safety and business requirements. Yes.